What's up guys, KidMartin95 here, and in today's video we're going to be talking about lumens, stellar lumens that is. Um, really quick before that, let's take a look at the market. Market cap currently at $194 billion. Uh, Bitcoin dominance at 51%. Just a second, let me turn down my TV. Um, Bitcoin currently at 5900 down 5% for the day. Ethereum up 2%, Bitcoin Cash up 1380 Still hanging in there, it seems like. Ripple down 5%. Dash up 4. Ooh, wow. Dash up 31%. Nice. Uh, Litecoin down 2%. Monero up 3%. Neo um, down 5%. IOTA down almost 5%. I have a video for IOTA coming up soon. Um, but before that, really quick, let's take a look at Bitcoin actually. This was our previous analysis for Bitcoin. Um, just so you guys are know, follow me on IG and Twitter at Kimar95. Uh, previous videos, Bitcoin versus Bitcoin Cash, which is, you know, I posted my analysis for Bitcoin, which is what I'm going to go over right now. Some altcoin frenzy that I'm looking forward to in 2018. We're now right through the roof. We're about to actually look at the charts on that one. We're actually going to look for the charts on Zcash as well, and as well as Dash. Um, Ethereum is still hanging out at around the same spot. Litecoin is, um... Looking for support, hanging out at around 58. So really, we're going to go over through a quick um, look through Monero, Zcash, and Dash. Uh, but before we do that, let's take a look at Bitcoin. Bitcoin looks like it hit uh, the previous day at 5,500. Um, I do expect this to come back down to test this level. Um, overall, I'm looking for it to find support here at 5,000 to the 4,700 area. If it doesn't find support here, I am expecting it to possibly come down to test possibly this trend line. Um, a lot of people are scared for this to happen, but honestly, I'm not. I'm actually excited. What this means is, I know I'm, I feel like price actually will come down to this trend line. I believe, and not, I'm not saying it's bad against Bitcoin, you know, I, I'm, I love Bitcoin, but like, you know. It does need a correction, a, a good correction. That way we can continue up, you know, to make that that move to 10k to or you know to 100k. So I do believe we do need a, a this correction, um, but I do believe we won't go this low. Um, if we do, um, I'm very heavily buying in this area. Let me mark it out really quick. Looking for if if for some reason so this support doesn't hold. At 5,000, 4,700, I'm looking for a buy around here, but support should or price should hold around here at 5,000, 4,700. Um, but yeah, that's a quick look at Bitcoin. I'm expecting it to come back down to the 5,400 area. Uh, let's switch on over to Monero. Let's see, Monero. We posted a video on three days ago, today the 12th, so the 9th. This candle. So if you were to bought anywhere on that day, you'd be at break even right now. Um, however, if you watched the video the next day, which most people did, you most likely caught it down here at the 100 level and you're currently up, up to 120. Um, I'm still expecting it to make its move to the 170 area and break through and then come back down for support. Um, next up we have Zcash, so let's switch on over to Zcash. Zcash was two days, oh no, I'm sorry, four days ago? Three days ago as well, oh, let's try to post it. Get that out of the way. Zcash, where are you at, there you are. Oh, I'm sorry, I don't think I did it on this one, I think I did it on this one. This was three days ago as well on the 9th, which is here. And which most people watch the video again the day after, some of you the day of. If you watch the day of, you'd be in profit. If you watch it the day after, or even two days after, you'd be in profit as well. I'm um, still expecting it to go from currently at 270 up to the 440 zone, um, to test its high. And even then, I'm expecting that to break actually through that and come back down and test it for support and continue its uptrend. 
Uh, next up, I have Dash. Dash to the dollar on Bitrix. My recommended broker. Nice, look at Dash. Beautiful. Uh, this was our our analysis for Dash. We had a nice ascending triangle. Um, price broke through our first uh, resistance here at 360, and even our second resistance here at uh, 416, 420. Went all the way up to almost 600 at 592, and we came back down. It looks like we're testing this price right here for support. Hopefully, we hold and we continue to the upside. But if we don't, I do believe we will come back down to the 360 and then continue our uptrend. Um, but that was my analysis for Dash, Zcash, and Monero. Um, now let's switch on over to what our topic of the video today is, which is some Stellar Lumen. So Stellar Lumen is currently at number 20 in the market. It's, um, market, market cap currently at 468 million, a ridiculous amount. What is that? 16 billion Lumen in circulating supply. There's 103 total currently down 13%, almost 14 for the day. So if we go over to their website really quick, let's see, Stellar is a platform that connects banks, payments, systems, and people. So great to hear that. Um, see who uses Stellar, how it works, developers about Lumen's blog, wallet contact. So it shows right here, we currently have 6,000, oh no, I'm sorry, 6,000, 6 billion, right, yeah. Yeah, 6 billion, 6.9 billion Lumen distributed. Um, I already have some tabs open here to show us what they're about. So here we have their team, it seems like. Um, team, developer, partnership, chief science, let's do developer. Okay. Board members, this one should be interesting. Hmm. Oh yeah, CTO of Stripe, former CTO of Stripe, CEO of Inventor, Director of Apache Software Foundation, that's good, nice, CEO, CEO of Stripe, whoa, Founder of WordPress, Founder of AngelList, President of Y Combinator, so they got some pretty, you know, pretty big people, you, me, join, no, <laughs> kidding. Let's close that. So what can we use Stellar uh, Lumens for? What's the Lumens for short for Lumens, actually? Manage micropayments for less. So Lumens actually has the smallest uh, fee that I can find, at least, or that I've dealt with. Um, the only other coin or token uh, that you want to, uh, the word you want to use for it, uh, that I know that have a lower fee than Stellar is actually IOTA, which I just kind of figured out today, so I'll be looking more into that. Uh, low cost of remittances, being a uh, mobile money leader. Increase, uh, increase reach through mobile branches, real-time settlement, two to five seconds. Wow, that's ridiculously fast. Great for micro payments, a 0 0.01 fee, handles 600,000 transactions. That's ridiculous. Already powered by Stellar, these companies. So let's see. So recently, about a month ago, I believe, uh, Stellar Lumens, recently, or Stellar, just recently partnered up with IBM and uh, ClickX to choose the power and the future of the cross-border payments. Let's see if we can get some more information on this. Today we are excited, yes, yeah, so October 15th, so almost about a month ago. Today we are excited to announce that Stellar is partnering with IBM and ClickX to develop a blockchain-based cross-border payment solution proven to significantly reduce transaction costs and increase transaction speed. This solution will help fin financial institutions and consumers eliminate inefficiencies and frustrations in current cross-border payment systems, including high fees, low processing, error-prone transactions, and inefficient capital utilization. So that's a pretty big move that they're partnering with IBM. So this currency is currently live in 12 quarters across the country, Pacific Island and Australia, New Zealand, the United Kingdom. Mm. This in new innovation collaboration represents the master for Stellar as well as the financial technology industry as well. Sorry guys, I know I read fast. For the first time, public blockchain technology is being used in production to facilitate cross-border payments. Currently, cross-border payments take up several days to clear it up. So it looks like pretty much they're just kind of announcing that and what what it is that they do 
um, they're not thinking that they partner up with, first of all, IBM and ClickX, and what Stellar does, you know, reducing fees and stuff like that. So now, really quick, let's take a look at uh, some lumens. Lumens of dollar price action here. I was actually trading this earlier, but I had it on uh, Lumen to Bitcoin when I was uh, trading it. But I'm actually, mm, actually, I'll probably stick to Lumen to Bitcoin for the sake of this analysis. We'll do Lumen to dollar. Let's switch over to the weekly here, see if we can better look. Actually, let's switch over to the daily really quick. I want to see what happened October 15th. So this was October 15th, the day after is when we launched. So, anyways, back to the weekly. So our high of all time is 0 0.0732. Nice. So that's not too high. <laughs> But that means our upside potential is much higher than our downside potential. What is that? Seven cents? Seven cents for one lumen? Mm, okay. Anyways. Um, so it looks like we've got a nice little uptrend for me here. I already had some previous analysis that I didn't realize I had. Um, but let's see. Switch over to the daily. Looks like we got a nice resistance here at almost five cents 0 0.045 rejected rejected and rejected 0 0.4 um we also have some support here at what is this point zero two five five bounced here bounce here bounce here bounce here rejected again um we do have an uptrend here maybe a better look came up down up down up down up down tested there let's see if oops we can get a better look here on the four hour so i'm looking for entry on lumen still in the downtrend here it seems like mm, a very solid downtrend no shine it's not sh no sign of reversal yet nice little channel I'm expecting it to come down possibly to the 0 0.024 uh, cents area. From there, let's see what we can get. Definitely a bounce, I believe. If this trend line doesn't hold. Oh, let's see. Switch over to the daily here, draw another support level. So if this trend line and, and previous resistance becomes support doesn't hold, I believe we will come down to, let's see, probably around here, looks like we've been rejected here a couple of times. Consolidated there for a bit, rejected, bounce. So I'll be expecting a bounce either from the 0 0.025, which is around here, or the 0 0.021 area. Um, from there, I'm expecting a bounce to the upside. Um, no idea exactly what, where to yet, because the price on this is ridiculously low. What do I expect for sure though? I definitely expect the Lumen to come back up to its all time high. Here at 0.06, almost 7 cents. Let's go ahead and draw that arrow right now. Expecting a bound, let's see. Let's see if we can almost call it on the dime. Expecting a bound, it's right about, yeah, probably right around this area. But that's pretty much it guys for today's video. This is my take on some lumens. Um, I'm expecting it to bounce off the 0 0.025 area, if not maybe 0 0.021, that is lumen to dollars. Um, from there I'm expecting it to go up to its 0 0.061, so almost uh, so 6 cents I'd say. Um, 
that's pretty much it for today's video, guys. Don't forget to subscribe, comment, like. Uh, let me know what uh, coins you guys want to see or what you guys think about. Um, don't forget to follow me on Twitter and Instagram. I'll leave, I'll leave my descriptions down below. And take it easy, guys. Peace. Thanks for watching.